Give me about 90 seconds. You'll get Act 2 of an Inspector Calls, summed up in vibrant verse and radiant cartoons. Here we go. When Act 2 tees off, one thing seems plain, that Gerald knew Eva by a different name. Love's young dream falls fast to squabbling, poor Sheila's equilibrium is really wobbling. She feels true remorse for her previous sin. Shortly after that, Mrs Burling sails in. Sybil patronises, she intimidates, because don't you know her husband's still a magistrate? But Gould keeps his cool, goes to quiz Gerald Croft. The boy undenied till he finally coughed. In a bar he saved Daisy from the clutches of a perv. Gave her love, food and shelter till he kicked her to the curb. Sheila splits from Jerry. Gould swoops on Mrs B. Sheila's learned her class is flawed but Sybil cannot see. That cold and distant woman snubbed Eva's need for aid. Eva called herself a Burling. A Burling saw she paid. And as for working class girls rejecting stolen loot, that's a line of reasoning Sybil forcefully disputes. So what if Eva's pregnant? Who cares if she's with child? The blame lies with the father who is drunk and young and wild. But Eric is the father. That's the ace card Gould will play. The family's rocked and Eric's back is face fixed in dismay. And that's us folks. Act 2 of an inspector calls in no time at all. Thanks for watching.